Hey guys, welcome to Crochet and Ballet. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, today we are going to be making this really comfy, super cute top here that Bonnie is showing off. Um, this was really fun to make, very easy to make. So if you're a beginner crocheter, this is going to be a good project for you. It looks um, great. You could wear it by itself or Bonnie also wears it as a cover up over her um, ballet leotards when she's on her way to ballet. So let's go ahead and jump into this video and get started. Started. Um, the first things, uh, you're going to need some scissors, you're going to need um, a yarn needle for sewing in your ends, you are going to need a measuring tape so you can measure how big you want your top to be, and I am using a 4.25 millimeter hook, it is really hard to see the way this, the glare of the light on this one, but anyways, a 4.25 millimeter hook. If you use a bigger hook, it will turn out a little bit bigger. This one that I made for Bonnie is a small slash medium adult size. And I used this yarn in different colors, um, these Comfy Classics. And I used six balls of yarn or skeins of yarn or whatever you want to call it. I used six of them total for this project. So um, if you're going to make a bigger size, you're going to need some more yarn than that. But that's what I used uh, for Bonnie's here. So, um, also, you can use any color that you want to. It doesn't have to be specifically what I used. You can make it all the same color or use a few different colors like I did. And this is what it kind of looks like up close, one side of it. So, basically, what you're going to be doing is making two rectangles and then sewing them together. So, I just kind of used a mix of yarn that I had, then colors that Bonnie said she liked together. So, that's what I did here. And I'm going to show you on a smaller scale. I'm just going to use these little blues that I have. Um, just because I've already have made the top. And I'm going to show you on camera. I'm going to do the exact same lines. But we're going to do a little smaller. So this is what you're going to be making. You're going to be making two rectangles. And then once you get both sides of the rectangles done. You're going to be sewing them together. And leaving a space in the middle there as the head hole. So you'll sew the ends together, leave a space for the head hole, and then sew the other side. And then you're going to be folding it from, and this is where we're going to be starting. Sorry, you're going to be starting there. So your starting length of your chain is going to be the whole length of your rectangle. And that's going to be from your back over your shoulder to your front. And that's where we're going to start and we're going to then go over towards where you'll be sewing it to, um, so, uh, sorry, you're going to be over where you're sewing it, um, where the head hole is. You're going to be folding it in half right there and you'll be sewing those two corners on the same right time. You'll be sewing those together a little ways up. Uh, you can measure that yourself and that is right there is going to be your armhole. Okay, so right there is going to be the space where your arm will come out of. Once you And you do the same thing on the other side. You'll fold it in half. And you'll have an armhole space. And I like this is obviously I'm just doodling on this paper. But to me it always helps to know what is going to, what I'm making. Where I'm starting and what it's going to be like. So that's why I did that. I hope that didn't confuse anybody. But basically we're going to be making two rectangles. They're going to be exactly the same. Okay, and we're going to get started here. Okay, um, there is one more thing I want to show you guys with the measuring tape. If you want to measure, the um, the first thing you want to measure is, okay, I'm going to get this back out here. Please don't laugh at my drawing. And this is, may click with you or it may not, but um, I'm going to draw my little stick person here. And if you had the back and you come up over the shoulder, and then to the front. Oh, my pencil. Okay. Oh my goodness. Can't write. Here we go. Okay. Over the shoulder to the front. This is going to be the length that you need for the starting chain. Okay. So is the back. It comes over. And then that's the front. I know my drawing is really terrible. But I think you can probably get the idea of what I'm doing. And then we'll be crocheting over towards the neck. So that's how we're going to be starting. And your starting length 
will need to be that measurement. So if you're making a different size from me, then you're going to want to measure where you want it to hit at your back over your shoulder to where you want it to hit at the front. And that is going to be the length of this starting chain. Now for um, Bonnie's, let's for this one that I'm making today, we did 38 inches for your starting chain and 13 inches wide. So 38 and 13 is what we are doing um, today. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a slip knot. And you're going to put your hook in. And we are just going to chain until you get your desired length. So if you are doing... Um, if you're doing the same the same size as small, small, medium, then you're going to need to go till you get to 38 inches. F for the purposes of the video, I am going to be making this one smaller. I'm just going to do 40 chains total uh, just so I can keep it small scale for this video. But you're going to want to make this chain the length where you want to hit it on your back, over your shoulder, and where you want it to hit at your front. And like I said, for the small medium size, that's going to be 38 inches. And it's a very loose fitting top. So, um, you know, you can do it. It has a lot of forgiveness in it. So it's very, very loose. And so your chain should look something like this. And once you're done with your starting chain row, I've got 40. So um, I'm going to um, just chain two more and then we are going to double crochet into that one but I'm going to chain or I'm sorry I'm going to chain one I like to chain one as a turning chain and then we're going to go into that last stitch we're going to double crochet and we're going to double crochet into every chain space all the way back down so, and if you need to remember how to double crochet is just yarning over, go into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your double crochet. If you need a slower tutorial on that, I can link my video on how to double crochet in the description box of this video. And you can watch that if you need to go a little bit slower. Other than that, you guys go ahead and double crochet all the way back down your chain. And when you are done, I am going to meet you back here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this row done and we'll come back here and talk about the next. Okay, here I am uh, done with all of those double crochets. So you should look something like this. And um, let me get some more yarn out here. It is not cooperating with me today. All right, we're just going to chain one. We are going to turn our work. And then we are going to single crochet into the top of every single stitch, which is just going in, pulling up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. And so you're just going to be single crocheting all the way down this row, which should not take too long. All single crochets are usually can get going a little bit faster. So um, you guys go ahead and single crochet down this whole row. And I will meet you back at the end of this row. Okay, here we are finishing up the end of our single crochet row. So I've got two left here. Let's go ahead and get those single crochets in. Make sure you don't forget that last one. And then um, it should look something like this. You've got your chain, a row of double crochets, and a row of single crochets. And now we are going to um, chain up three. Okay, and then we're going to yarn over twice and we're going to turn our work. This row we are going to be doing uh, treble crochets, which are just like double crochets, but we yarn over one more time and so we'll pull it through two more loops. So we've yarned over twice. We are going to go into that same space that our chains are coming out of and we yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Okay, and that gives us our treble crochet. And then we are going to yarn over and yarn, or I'm sorry, chain one and then yarn over twice. Yarning over twice, we are going to go skip one and then we're going to go into the next one and treble crochet. 
We're going to chain one, yarn over twice, skip one, treble crochet, chain one, yarn over twice, skip one, go into the next, treble crochet. So it's going to look like that, where we're skipping one stitch in between our treble crochets and we're doing a chain space in between our treble crochets. So uh, we're going to chain one here, yarn over twice, skip one, go into the next, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and chain. And that is what we're going to do all the way down this row. This is also going to be a fairly quick row. So if you guys want to go ahead and finish this up, I will meet you back at the end of this one. Okay, here we are finishing up our treble crochets, and um, it's going to look something like this. And you can put two at the end of the row like I did if um, your numbers don't match up because we just measured um, our inches to measure our shirt instead of number of stitches. So we're going to go ahead and chain up one at the end, and we're going to turn our work. It's no big deal at all if you do two at the end. It will not be noticeable in the shirt at all. Okay. And then here we are, we're going to go back across all of these treble crochets with a single crochet in the top of all of them. And we're going to also be doing a single crochet into the chain spaces. So in the chain space, each chain space, we'll get a single crochet and each top of each treble crochet, we'll get a single crochet. Okay, so at the end of this row, just to be making sure that you're on track, you should have the same number of stitches that you did uh, chains. You're not going to be increasing or decreasing. So I started out with 40 chains, so I will have 40 single crochets at the end of this row. So you guys go ahead and get your single crochet row done here, and I will meet you back at the end of this row, and we'll talk about the next one. Okay, here we are at the end of our single crochet row, and yours should look something like this. Um, we've got the treble, the treble crochet row, which is where those little windows looking are, and then we've got our single crochet row. Now we're going to chain up one, yarn over once, and we're going to turn our work, and we are going to go down and do every single single crochet is going to get a double crochet. So down this hole row we are going to do double crochets into the top of every single crochet it'll be another very easy row so just go ahead and finish that up and i will meet you guys back when we are done with our row of double crochets all right now i am finishing up these last couple double crochets and we're going to chain one it should look something like this so if you guys um following along should look just like mine does and we're going to chain up one we're going to turn our work and the next row is really simple again it's going to be another row of single crochets so go ahead and get your row of single crochets in and um i'm trying to make the video not super long so i'm not going to talk to you guys like you know the whole time down every row but um hopefully this will help you you can just pick up at the end of each row and go ahead and get that done. Um, so just finish up this row of single crochets and I will show you what to do next. All right, single crochets are done here. Now we're going to change it up a little bit for um, a stitch that we have not done so far. It's super easy though. What we are going to do is chain up four. So you've got, uh, you just finished your, another single crochet row. We're at the end. We're going to chain one, two, three, and four. We're going to turn our work. And then you are going to skip two stitches and you're going to single crochet into the third. Okay. So you skip two stitches, single crochet into third, and then chain four again. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to fix this real quick. Okay, so there is chain four. You're going to skip one, two, single crochet into the third. Okay, and then you're going to chain one, two, three, four. Skip two stitches, single crochet into the third. One, two, three, four. Skip two, single crochet into the third. One, two, three, four. 
skip two stitches, single crochet into that third one, one, two, three, four chains, skip two stitches, single crochet into the third, one, two, three, four, skip two, single crochet, one, two, three, let's see, I need, did I only do three on that one? I don't know, I'll have to go back and check. Anyway, be doing four and then single crochet. We're going to do that all the way across. I'm just going to finish this up while y'all are watching because it does not take me long because mine is shorter, but yours might take a little bit longer to do the full size one. Okay, so we're just going to keep chaining four and single crocheting into the third stitch from the chains. And then almost to the end here and if you get to the end and you have an off number just go ahead and it's not going to be a big deal to just skip one okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to chain four again to start our next row we're making like a mesh type of a stitch now a little mesh stitch so we're going to chain four and then we're going to single crochet just into the chain spaces on every single chain space. So you chain four and you go into the chain space and single crochet. So it's going to look like that. Okay, so guys, go ahead and finish up this row. And then we're going to just chain four, turn our work, and do three rows total of this mesh stitch. So as soon as you are done with that, I'm going to meet you back here and show you what comes next. But just keep chaining four and going into the tops of those chain spaces and you're making a mesh stitch. So um, I'll meet you back when we've got three rows total of this and I will see you in just a second. Okay, here we are all done. I've got three rows of the mesh stitch done. And so our next row is going to be a single crochet row. So we're going to chain up one. We're going to turn our work and I'm going to do a single crochet into the top of the single crochets and I'm going to do two single crochets into the chain spaces and then a single crochet on the single crochet, two single crochets in the space and then single crochet on the single crochet. Okay, and when you get done with this row, you should have the same number of single crochets as, you, as your starting chain. So I started out with 40 chains um for for this piece and so you should have I'll, I should have 40 single crochets when I get done with this row so your numbers should match and that's the way that you'll know that you've got the right amount and here we are at the end kind of jumped really fast with that one but uh, once you get done with that and you can make sure that your number is correct you can go ahead and move on to the next row we're going to chain up one yarn over and turn our work and now we are back on a double crochet work row so go ahead and start your double crochet row and so you're just double crocheting into every single crochet and when you get done you should have the same number as the number of your starting chain so go ahead and do that and i will meet you back here in just a second And here we are at the end of our double crochets and next is going to be a single crochet row so you're just going to chain up one and go right into single crochets all the way across and once you get done with that I'm going to show you what the next row is going to be so go ahead and pause the video and finish your row of single crochets and then we'll look at what's coming up next all right, here we are at the end of that row, and your alls should be looking something like this, um, the same way that mine is here. And so our next row is going to be a V-stitch row. So we're going to chain up three, and these are going to be treble stitches. So we're going to yarn over twice, Let's see, get lined up here, 
yarn over twice and you're going to go right back into that uh, stitch that the chain was coming out of and yarn over go through once twice and three times okay then we're going to yarn over twice we're going to let's see how many do I skip here we're going to skip two stitches we're going to go into the third stitch and do a treble crochet we're going to chain one and we're going to do another treble crochet into that same stitch okay and then that makes that B stitch then we're going to yarn over twice skip two stitches go into the third make a treble crochet chain one we're going to do another treble crochet in that same stitch and we're making these stitches all the way across just like this okay so it should look something like that those are going to be your v stitches so we're going to just continue on here go ahead and set up for your next treble crochet you're going to skip two stitches you're going to go into the third stitch make your treble crochet you're going to chain one and make a treble crochet in that same stitch okay i want you to do this all the way down your um your whole row there and when you get done we'll meet back and show you the next row so again you're just you're not making a chain space in between the v stitches that's only in the v stitches all right so you're just treble crochet chain one treble crochet in the same and then treble crochet in the third stitch away and go ahead and finish that this row up and i will meet you right back all right here's the end of the v stitch row and this is what you should have uh, what it looks like and now we are going to do a single crochet row so you're going to chain one turn your work and you are going to put a single crochet into the top of all of the treble stitches and you're going to put a single crochet into the chain spaces so at the end of this row you should have the same number of stitches as you did at your beginning chain so my number is 40 for this but you put one single crochet in the top of each treble space and one single crochet in the chain space and that should give you the same number that you had at the beginning so go ahead and make single crochets all the way down this row and then we'll move on to the next row all right finished up those single crochets and yours should look like this the single crochets across the top of the v stitches make a nice even top there for those v stitches now we are going to chain up one turn our work and we are on a double crochet row so you're going to yarn over go in and do your double crochet um, and we're going to double crochet down the whole entire row here and i will meet you at the end of this row and we'll talk about the next row all right we're at the end of our double crochet row now we're going to chain one turn our work and we are single crocheting all the way down so just go ahead and do a single crochet all the way down those double crochets and then we will meet back at the end of this row and talk about what to do next all right here is the end of that row and it should be looking like this and now our next um, little section here is going to be a section of mesh just like we did the three rows of mesh here a minute ago we're going to chain up four we're going to turn our work and we are going to skip two places and we're going to go into the third space and we're going to make a single crochet and then we're going to chain up four and we're going to skip two spaces go into the third and make a single crochet chain four and we are going to continue this all the way down chain four single crochet in the third space and we're going to do this all the way down to the end and then we are going to make um, several rows like this I'm going to show you 
how to turn remind you how to turn the first one and then I'm going to uh, just let you do we're gonna do this till we have 10 rows total of this mesh stitch last time we just did three rows um, earlier in the pattern but now we're gonna do 10 rows total of mesh stitches so this is our first one where we're just chaining four going into the skipping two stitches and going into the third one and making a single crochet chaining four and repeating that all the way down and I'm going to show you I'm almost to the end so I'm just going to keep going here uh, once we get to the end of this row I'm going to show you how to turn and that's what you'll do at the end of every single row until you have done 10 rows total of this mesh stitch so here is going to be the last one my I'm just gonna add another single crochet there at the end okay then we're going to chain up four at the end of every row you'll chain up four turn your work and you will do um, the very first space is you're gonna do a single crochet okay and then we just chain four and into the top of every single space you're going to do that all the way across and you guys go ahead and get that done and when you are done we'll look at what it's going to be like go ahead and pause the video here okay when you're done it's going to look like this i am going to not um do quite as many on my sample piece here but um it will look like just how that mesh did on the pink so i'm going to just do uh, i think i just did five here and then we'll move on to what comes after your mesh section. Okay, we're gonna do a row of single crochets. We're gonna do it just like we did the earlier ones. You're gonna single crochet into the top of every single crochet, and you're gonna put two single crochets into the chain spaces. So don't forget your first one there, and then two in the chain, and then a single crochet there, and then two in the chain space, and you're just going to Go all the way across there, and again, you'll have the same number of stitches as your very first starting chain. We are not increasing or decreasing at all. So my number is 40. I had 40 chains at the beginning, and I'm going to have 40 single crochets at the end of this row. And so your stitches should match up to whatever number you started with as well. And that will make sure that you're not making it more narrow or getting the wrong number of stitches on each row so go ahead and finish up your single crochets and then I will show you the next row okay here we are we're going to chain up one at the end and we're going to turn our work and now we are going to do a double crochet row all right we're going to double crochet all the way down this row and then I will show you at the end of this row what comes next and here we are at the end of this row and we um, I came back through and did another row of single crochet okay so you finished it out you single crochet then a double crochet then single crochet and on Bonnie's that I've already made I did four rows total of double crochets and then ending with a single crochet so once you end with a single crochet for as many as you need we're gonna do this one last row together and so all this is just to make these little little holes here we are going to do um, three double crochets in a row in a row not in the same space so there's one two three then we're going to chain one yarn over skip one and then do three more double crochets one two three chain one skip one and do three double crochets one two and three chain one skip one and do this all the way down with our th do three double crochets chain one skip one three double crochets and then we are going to be 
uh, finished with one side with one rectangle so one side of our shirt okay guys so here we are done with this rectangle and yours should look something like this mine of course is a small sample piece so yours is going to be much longer uh, much more of a rectangle mine kind of looks like a square but it's going to be much more of a rectangle looking you're going to make two of these so make two exactly the same and then we are going to put them together like this as you can see i have um where this pink line is in the middle of them you are going to be sewing together right there and you're going to leave a space in the middle open for the head hole so that is what those spaces are for and this is where you will be sewing that together and here you can see I have sewn together right where I had those pink lines a minute ago. And so it should look like this with that little opening still there in the middle. And then we are going to take the top part of that and fold it down in half like this. And we're going to sew together the bottom part of the arms to make the armholes. So you'll be sewing um, where the pink lines are on this picture. You will be sewing up right there. And then the top part of that will be the armhole opening. And when I got done with this, it looked like it was kind of the perfect size for Bonnie's little American Girl doll. So I put it right on her and it looks really cute. So it should look something like that. And here's Bonnie enjoying um, a book and a drink in her little cute top there. And again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please do like this video and subscribe to our channel. We would greatly appreciate it. I'm almost to a thousand subscribers, so I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and like all the videos and watch them all the way through. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comment section. And I can't wait to see you guys again on the next video that we're working on now. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Love everybody. Bye.